have some water in this painting today. I love water. It's easy to paint. And we'll just take, we we'll use that same old phthalo blue. Just add a little more onto the brush. Now still water is always level. And I think today, let's have still water. So pull from the outside to in, like so. That's all there is to it. Now still water is always level. 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 All right, it's reaching altitude. Hits the dome and curves and starts falling down. Rockets don't have brakes. It's it literally stopped. All of that angular momentum from the, from the rotation of the rocket and the linear momentum from flying up just stopped. No, it had to have hit something. What would it hit? If it hit a solid surface, the rocket would have been destroyed. Most likely the camera too, so we wouldn't have the footage. And obviously, that's not the case.
your generation to embrace is that the earth is a closed system. We cannot leave the earth. There's no place to go. Rockets don't have brakes. It's, it literally stopped. All of that angular momentum from the, from the rotation of the rocket and the linear momentum from flying up just stopped. No, it had to have hit something. What would it hit? If it hit a solid surface, the rocket would have been destroyed, and most likely the camera too, so we wouldn't have the footage, and obviously that's not the case. Although we weren't able to shatter that highest, hardest glass ceiling this time, thanks to you, it's got about 18 million cracks in it. Kicks and deals. It's a long fly ball going back, back. And the ball shatters the sky, bringing the ocean itself down into the stadium. Oh, Simpson just broke this dream's reality wide open. I know we have still not shattered that highest and hardest glass ceiling, but someday someone will, and hopefully sooner than we might think right now. There's no place to go. Although we weren't able to shatter that highest, hardest glass ceiling this time, thanks to you, it's got about 18 million cracks in it. And it may be hard to see tonight, but we are all standing under a glass ceiling right now. People figured out that we were an enclosed system. The more advanced we got, it would be the biggest thought on our minds. That's all we care about. If you could make a wildlife preserve a thousand miles square, all people, you know, all human beings would do is just be knocking on the fence constantly, going, what, why is this fence here? Who built the fence? Why are we in here? And so on and so on. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other thing, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because that challenge is one that we're willing to accept one we are unwilling to postpone, and one we intend to win. Bring the astronauts took to the moon. Astronauts to the moon. <laughs> well, why don't you just put the end to the record in the argument and put your hand on the Bible, swear to God you walked on the moon. <laughs> Mr. Cyber, yeah. knowing you, that's probably a fake Bible. Well, you're talking to the wrong guy. Why don't we're you there. talk to the administrator at NASA? We're passengers. We're, we're guys going on a flight. I don't hit people, but you're going to be on the deck unless you get the hell out of the Well, I hate your stuff and get the fuck out. Why don't you quote me and say it's bullshit? I mean, the shadows in her uncle. I don't give a, I don't give a damn about all that shit. You're the one who said you walked on the moon when you didn't. Calling the kettle black if you ever thought of it. Saying I misrepresented myself. Get away from me. You're a coward and a liar and a thief. Head. Well, I want you to I want you to swear Get to God on the Bible that you walked on the moon. Okay. If you walked on the moon, we're given the opportunity to swear to God that you walked on the moon. I'm going to give you the opportunity to get the hell knocked out if you don't leave me alone. Watching them lie through their teeth, carrying on yep. a hoax that is so outrageous that they're they're beyond human. They couldn't cover it up. They no, were just too you, Exactly. You can see on Neil Armstrong, particularly, oh. he, say, he yeah. doesn't want to lie. This guy just doesn't want to lie. No. He's looking down. He just doesn't want to say anything. This is why he didn't give any interviews for the rest of his life. Look at that. Please do look at that, folks. YouTube video <laughs> of the first Apollo uh, crew to press come back at oh. press conference. It is. It's really embarrassing. I mean, it's just embarrassing. It The lie was so big that they couldn't, they really couldn't fake it that well. It was too much for them. And all of that happened in a little town called York, Maine, across the United States from where we're talking to you right now. We are headed 3,600 miles above Earth, 15 times higher from the planet than the International Space Station. 
As we get further away from Earth, we'll pass through the Van Allen belts, an area of dangerous radiation. Radiation like this could harm the guidance systems, onboard computers, or other electronics on Orion. Naturally, we have to pass through this danger zone twice, once up and once back. But Orion has protection. Shielding will be put to the test as the vehicle cuts through the waves of radiation. But Orion has protection. Shielding will be put to the test as the vehicle cuts through the waves of radiation. But Orion has protection. Shielding will be put to the test as the vehicle cuts through the waves of radiation. Sensors aboard will record radiation levels for scientists to study. We must solve these challenges before we send people through this region of space. We must solve these challenges before we send people through this region of space. We must solve these challenges before we send people through this region of space. For this flight, it's time to head home. The United States has shunned the Paris Climate Agreement, but it has big plans beyond planet Earth. President Trump wants to send American astronauts back to the moon and to places no man has ever gone before. Trump's first space policy directive orders NASA to refocus on human exploration and discovery, 45 years after its last Apollo mission to the moon. Trump said the initiative would create many jobs, and he hoped to see a lunar mission serve as a stepping stone to Mars. We will not only plant our flag and leave our footprint, we will establish a foundation for an eventual mission to Mars, and perhaps someday to many worlds beyond. Little detail was given of the plans, but many on social media were quick to deride it, with some quipping that if America is going to lead in space, then why not send Trump there first? So, um, so, so you spin, you know, when you spin pizza dough, it kind of flattens out. Yeah. It gets wider in the middle. And so Earth, throughout its life, even when it formed, it was spinning. And it got a little wider at the equator than it, does at the poles. So it's not actually a sphere, it's, an, it's oblate, and officially it's an oblate spheroid, that's what we call it. But not only that, it's slightly wider below the equator than above the equator. A little chubbier. A little chubbier. Yeah. Chubby is a good way. It's like pear-shaped. Pear-shaped. In a nanosecond. Uh, the problem is we don't have the technology to do that anymore. We used to, but we... Uh, destroyed that technology, and it's a painful process to build it back again. Now, if these guys were around when Columbus set sail, they'd be charter members of the Flat Earth Society. It's, they, uh, the, 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 the current members of the Flat Earth Society in Congress, and again, I, I just want everybody to be clear, uh, because sometimes when you listen to the news and, and you listen to some of these other politicians, uh, they seem a little bit confused about what I'm saying. You know, the, uh, the, 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 if some of these folks were around when Columbus set sail, <laughs> they, 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 they must have been founding members of, of the Flat Earth Society. They, they would not have believed that the world was round. If I say that the world is round and someone else says it's flat, that's worth reporting, but you might also want to report on a bunch of scientific evidence that seems to support the notion that the world is round. We don't have time for a meeting of the Flat Earth Society.
Humans, for the most part, don't have a clue. They don't want one or need one either. They're happy. They think they have a good bead on things. Uh, well, why, why the big secret? People are smart. They can handle it. The person is smart. People are dumb, panicky, dangerous animals, and you know it. 1,500 years ago, everybody knew the Earth was the center of the universe. 500 years ago, everybody knew the Earth was flat. Two cell phones after. Right before your surgery, I asked if you had packed your cell phone, and you said, which one? When? Skylar, I was medicated. I mean, I, I, I could have said the world was flat. You know what I think? I think you accidentally told the truth. The pitcher, steroid Santa Claus, kicks and deals. It's a long fly ball going back, back. And the ball shatters the sky, bringing the ocean itself down into the stadium. Oh, Simpson just broke this dream's reality wide open. I wanted to make this video because one of the criticisms that I hear about the Flat Earth all the time is that there's no engineer, no scientist, or no educated professional that would say that the Earth is flat. Well, I beg to differ. One great example of that is Werner von Braun. Werner von Braun was a German engineer who worked on rocket technology, first for Germany and then for the United States. This guy is known as the father of NASA. Werner von Braun was one of the most important German weapons specialists to work on rocketry and jet proportions in the United States after World War II. He disapproved of military use of the rocket and surrendered willingly to American troops in 1945, eventually becoming technical director of the U.S. Army Ordnance Guided Missile Program in Alabama. He was also chiefly responsible for rocketry for the nation's space program. So the father of NASA, the guy that was originally trying to get into space, what does he have to say about the flat earth? Well, let's look at his tombstone, the only thing that he'd be able to leave for the whole world to see. Werner von Braun, 1912-1977, Psalms 19-1, 19-1, 19-1. so why does the father of NASA, an engineer, have a Bible verse on his tombstone? Well, let's see what 19-1 has to say. If you look at the NIV version of the Bible, for the director of music, a psalm of David, the heavens declare the glory of God, the skies proclaim the work of his hands. Well, this doesn't tell us too much, but if you actually look at the real Bible, King James Bible, the received text, to the chief musician, a psalm of David, the heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament sheweth his handiwork. So why would the father of NASA have on his tombstone talking about the firmament? I mean, he's trying to leave breadcrumbs for the world to see. He can't go out and say it and publish it. It would be completely destroyed. His work would be completely destroyed anyway, so this is the only way he'd be able to let us know. And he's trying to let us know. There's lots of people in the past that have paid the ultimate price for to try to let the world know that the earth is flat. And a lot of people just dismiss this as nothing. But if you guys would just, you know, get out of your echo chamber and do some own research, do some of your own research and try to see for yourself, I think that the Lord will really reveal what the truth is. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy this video. ceiling this time, thanks to you, it's got about 18 million cracks in it. Up and you start to see the obvious. Life is just a lie, and this whole world ain't what we thought it was. NASA's missions to the moon were never completed. They just filmed them in a room, and people believe it. I used to wonder what it's like to be an astronaut. Now, when I see them acting, I can't help but to laugh a lot. They give us cartoons, and they claim that we live on a ball. But it's flat, and it's not moving or spinning at all. Why you lying to us, man? That's something that we want to know. After that, you're gonna have to pack up all your stuff and go.
History has been rewritten by winners of wars. The Jesuit order, Khazars, Freemasons, and more. They pulled the veil over our eyes, and it's time to awaken. Through organized indoctrination, our minds have been taken. It's time we take our power back and we rescue our people. The Vatican and the bankers are like resident evil. They may have had the greatest plan that was ever concocted, but Illuminati never thought that they'd ever be spotted. They're manufacturing reality all in our heads. They tell us if the earth is flat, then we'll fall off the edge. But if it is a spinning ball, we won't fall off it then. And gravity is our imaginary magic friend why is water always flat when unmanipulated why are pictures of the earth computer generated why you lying to us man that's something that we want to know after that you're gonna have to pack up all your stuff and go crystal clear that you and the other space programs that are in operation are connected and are deceiving the entire world. More and more people are waking up every single day and we are now able to see right through you. 